Hello, and welcome to another video from the YouTube channel, From Religion to Agnostic. Phut or Put, Hebrew Phut, Septuagint Greek Phoud, is the third son of Ham, one of the sons of Noah, in the biblical table of nations, Genesis 10 6 compared to 1 Chronicles 1 8. The name Put, or Phut, is used in the Bible for the people of the kingdom of Aksum, Eritrea and Ethiopia but a few scholars proposed the land of Punt known from ancient Egyptian annals. Epiphanius writes, Thus Mistrum was allotted Egypt, Cush Ethiopia, Put Aksum, Ragman and Sabtika and, Dadan, also called Judad, the region bordering on Garama. Josephus writes, Phut also was the founder of Libya, and called the inhabitants. Futites, Fouts, from himself. There is also a river in the country of Moors which bears that name, whence it is that we may see the greatest part of the Grecian historiographers mention that river and the adjoining country by the appellation of Phut, Fout. But the name it has now has been by change given it from one of the sons of Mesraim, who was called Libios. Pliny the Elder and Ptolemy both place the river Futh on the west side of Mauritania, modern Morocco. Ptolemy also mentions a city Putia in Libya, for dot 3.39. A Libyan connection has likewise been inferred from Nahum 3.9, where it is said that, Put and Lubim, were the helpers of Egypt. Other biblical verses consistently refer to the descendants of Put as warriors. In Jeremiah 46.9, they are again described as being supporters of Egypt. Ezekiel mentions them three times. In 27.10, as supporters of Tyre, Phoenicia, in 30.5 again as supporting Egypt, and in 38.5, as supporters of Gog. The Septuagint Greek, LXX, substitutes Libus in Ezekiel where the Hebrew Bible refers to Put. However, the LXX reads Put in Isaiah 66.19, in place of Paul in the Hebrew. The Libyan tribe of Pw shows up in Egyptian records by the 22nd dynasty, while a Ptolemaic text from Edfu refers to the, the land of the Paitu. The word was later written in Demotic as Pit, and as Fiat in Coptic, a name for Libya Egypti, northwestern Egypt. A fragment of Nebuchadnezzar II's annals mentions his campaign in 567 in Egypt, and defeating the soldiers of Putiaa Man, i.e. Greek Libya, Syrian. A multilingual stele from Ol Kabri, Dating to the reign of Darius I refers to the Put as the province of Putaya, Old Persian, and Puta, Neo-Babylonian, where the equivalent text written in Egyptian has, Libya. Alrighty, and so I want to reflect as we went over this yesterday. So that being said I will not spend much time on this part, it's for you to do further research, as you should with most of the key things I mention. Like, the Kingdom of Aksum. I know, I know, your silly little pastor, deacon, priest, pope, or leader said to just have faith, blind faith, ha 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 ha, maybe, just maybe, one should look up the definition of, blind, laughing my ass off. Some of us, myself included, believe that to be, indoctrination, or well the start to it. Okay opinions over, let's return to Ham's son, Fut. In reflecting, let's look at the above mentioned, and I quote, Epiphanius writes. Thus Mistrum was allotted Egypt, Cush Ethiopia, Put Aksum, Ragman and Sabtika and, Dadan, also called Judad, the region bordering on Garama. The key part to this sentence is the very part one keep directing you towards. Let's look, thus Mistrum was allotted Egypt, Cush Ethiopia, Put Aksum. Fut Aksum, Aksum as in what we covered yesterday with his brother Mizraim. Okay, and now moving on, I want to look next at, and I quote, a Libyan connection has likewise been inferred from Nahum Hours Minutes 3-9, where it is said that, Put and Lubim, were the helpers of Egypt. Pause, okay, and now I just want to point out here, this makes so much sense later on when you get further on in the genealogy, so please mark this down as, important. And now let's move on, next I want to point out, that as this states, above, this is mentioned in that fable called the Bible also. Let's reflect, and I quote, 
Other biblical verses consistently refer to the descendants of Putter's warriors. In Jeremiah 46 9, they are again described as being supporters of Egypt. Ezekiel mentions them three times, in 27 10, as supporters of Tyre, Phoenicia, in 30 5 again as supporting Egypt. And in 38 5, as supporters of Gog. Okay and as stated above let's look at where it mentions and I quote. The Libyan tribe of, PW, shows up in Egyptian records by the 22nd dynasty. The 22nd dynasty, let's check it. The 22nd dynasty of Egypt is also known as the Bubastite dynasty, since the pharaohs originally ruled from the city of Bubastis. It was founded by Shoshenkai. The 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th dynasties of ancient Egypt are often combined under the group designation of the third. Intermediate period. The pharaohs of the 22nd dynasty were a series of Meshwesh, ancient Libyans, who ruled from c. 943 BC until 716 BC. They had settled in Egypt since the 20th dynasty. Manetho states that this Berber dynasty originated at Bubastis, but its rulers almost certainly governed from Tanis, which was their capital and the city where their tombs have been excavated. Another pharaoh who belongs to this group is Tukkaper Shoshenk. His period of rule within this dynasty is currently uncertain, although he is now thought to have governed Egypt early in the 9th century BC for a short time between Osorkan I and Teklot I. The next ruler at Tanis after Shoshenk V was Osorkan VI. This pharaoh is sometimes not believed to be a member of the 22nd dynasty since he only controlled a small portion of Lower Egypt together with Tefnakti of Sais, whose authority was recognized at Memphis and Ayupat II of Leontopolis. Okay, and so looking here, let's also take a minute, as this is very important, and reflect upon this where it states and I quote from above. Since the pharaohs originally ruled from the city of Bubastis. It was founded by Shoshenk I. Okay, so before we get much further down the rabbit hole. And I must say as a researcher, and truther or journalist can tell you, you can end up going down several different rabbit holes stirring you further and further from where you started, thus you end up forgetting where you began. So please, take notes, save pictures and file everything. Because that's what's needed to dig through all these lies. So leaving off there, you can further research into the 22 second dynasty, let's return to Fat, going back, we see here, where it states and I quote. While a Ptolemaic text from Edfu refers to the, the land of the Paitu. The word was later written in Demotic as Pit. So let's look at the, Demotic script, Demotic is the ancient Egyptian script derived from northern forms of hieratic used in the Nile Delta, and the stage of the Egyptian language written in this script, following late Egyptian and preceding Coptic. The term was first used by the Greek historian Herodotus to distinguish it from hieratic and hieroglyphic scripts. By convention, the word, demotic, is capitalized in order to distinguish it from demotic Greek. The demotic script was referred to by the Egyptians as, document writing, which the second-century scholar Clement of Alexandria called, letter writing, while early Western scholars, notably Thomas Young, formally referred to it as, Enchorial Egyptian. The script was used for more than a thousand years, and during that time a number of developmental stages occurred. It is written and read from right to left, while earlier. Hieroglyphs could be written from top to bottom, left to right, or right to left. Parts of the Demotic Greek magical papyri were written with a cipher script. Demotic is a development of the late Egyptian language and shares much with the later Coptic phase of the Egyptian language. In the earlier stages of Demotic, such as those texts written in the early Demotic script, it probably represented the spoken idiom of the time. But, as it was increasingly used for only literary and religious purposes, the written language diverged more and more from the spoken form, leading to significant diglossia between the late Demotic texts and the spoken language of the time, similar to the use of classical Middle Egyptian during the Ptolemaic period. 
the Rosetta Stone was discovered in 1799. It is inscribed with three scripts Egyptian hieroglyphs, Demotic, and the Greek alphabet. There are 32 lines of Demotic, which is the middle of the three scripts on the stone. The Demotic was deciphered before the hieroglyphs, starting with the efforts of Antoine Isaac Sylvestre de Sacchi. Scholars were eventually able to translate the hieroglyphs by comparing the Greek words, which could be readily translated, and the hieroglyphs, in addition to their existing knowledge of Coptic. Egyptologists, linguists and papyrologists who specialize in the study of the Demotic stage of Egyptian script are known as Demotists. Okay and next let's reflect, I want to quote from above where it states. Anas Fiatin Coptic, a name for Libya Egypti, Northwestern Egypt. Let's check the Coptic script. Coptic is a family of closely related dialects descended from the ancient Egyptian language and historically spoken by the Copts of Egypt. Coptic was supplanted by Egyptian Arabic as the primary spoken language of Egypt following the Muslim conquest of Egypt, although it remains in use today as the liturgical language of the Coptic Church. Innovations in grammar, phonology, and the influx of Greek loanwords distinguish Coptic from earlier periods of the Egyptian language. It is written with the Coptic alphabet, a modified form of the Greek alphabet with several additional letters borrowed from the Demotic Egyptian script. The major Coptic dialects are Sahidic, Boharic, Akmimic, Fayumic, Lycopolitan, and Oxyrinkite. Sahidic Coptic was spoken approximately between the cities of Asud and Oxyrinchus and flourished as a literary language across all of Egypt in the period c. 325 to c. 800 AD. Boharic, the language of the Nile Delta, gained prominence in the 9th century and is the dialect used by the Coptic Church. Despite being closely related, Coptic dialects differ from one another in terms of their phonology, morphology, and vocabulary. The Egyptian language may have the longest documented history of any language, from Old Egyptian that appeared just before 3200 BC to its final phases as Coptic in the Middle Ages. Coptic belongs to the later Egyptian phase, which started to be written in the New Kingdom of Egypt. Later Egyptian represented colloquial speech of the later periods. It had analytic features like definite and indefinite articles and periphrastic verb conjugation. Coptic, therefore, is a reference to both the most recent stage of Egyptian after Demotic and the new writing system that was adapted from the Greek alphabet. Ok and as always links are in the box below, I would suggest, those looking into this genealogy to make sure to look this last part up on the, Coptic language. Alrighty and that will do it for this video, catch you on the next one. Have a great day, and be safe. If you enjoyed this video, please think about subscribing, as well as hitting the like and sharing would help out a lot. Thank you all, and may the gods guide you in your journey, stay blessed. Thank <laughs> you.